In 1940, 200 pilots who crashed in the sea died. It would have been even more had it not been for this. Not everything the RAF operated was a plane. Their 100 class high speed rescue boats were called the Spitfires of the Seas. The last survivor is kept in Portsmouth by skipper Diggory Rose. Really, the exciting bit is just to advance the throttles. So if you advance one notch, all three throttles. You can watch the speed come up, and we've added two, three knots already. But we're not yet on the plane. So the plane is the point where the hull starts to ride on the surface. At the moment, we're still pushing through the water. If we give it another notch. We're just coming up onto the plane. We're about half the speed she'll do flat out now. You advance the throttles as far as you like. All right, we're ready. You sort of lean into it. Yeah, look at that. That's it wide open. Its performance was thanks to 24-litre Napier engines. That was the engine in like the 30s and 40s. If you was land speed racing, if you was flying a plane or wanted load of power in a boat, you would use the Napier, the Napier Sea Lion. Well, this boat had three of them in, 1,500 horsepower. Like 39 knots, and that's all quicker than anything the R and L I have got now. So what we're doing now is we're going to use a Mary Rose buoy to simulate a casualty in the water. Yes, yes. Now this is the stuff that was really pioneered by um, Lawrence of Arabia. T. E. Shaw is in T. E. Shaw. Yeah. So he pioneered this idea that at low speeds, what you need to do is start to use the, the throttles independently. So as we approach our casualty, which is this boy here, yes. then we start thinking about backing off the speed. Steering with the rudder is too inaccurate at low speed. So if you take all three engines out of gear simultaneously, right, and yep. it goes nice and quiet. Operating the left and right engines separately means you can rotate the boat more precisely. So yeah. if you want to turn to port, you bring the starboard engine into play and vice versa. It's a bit like the track machine. Speed one track down, slow the other up. That'll help you steer. It's a bit the same. It's a bit the same. Guy has to drive the boat like a tank. Yes. So to come down onto our man in the water, if you go astern backwards with the port engine and ahead with the starboard engine. Ah, uh, yeah, OK, 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 yeah. yeah. You want to pick him up from right here where you can still see him. Yes. You don't want to pick him up from back aft because then he's dangerous in the propellers. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So we stop the starboard engine and bring both port and starboard astern backwards. That'll bring the boat to a halt. Only when you're a flash git can you fly up there at the speed and put it right on the spot. It says the man of experience, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Well, that's well, what he's doing, yeah. Rescuing pilots was hazardous work. This very boat was shot at by a Messerschmitt 109. Germany's air sea rescue service faced similar dangers. The Germans had air sea rescue, a Heinkel seaplane, that's what they used. All painted up, big red cross on the side. Um, our man Churchill wasn't having that. He said, um, no, 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 <laughs> they're reconnaissance planes, shoot the buggers down. That's what you just got to say, war is war, aren't you? What would I do? Well, we've got to look at the cold hard facts of the matter. Say, that, that's a German rescue boat. 1940, am I going to shoot it? Yes, I bloody am, because that's only going to rescue German pilots to get them back to land to get them bombing us again. So, of course, of course, that's war. It is war. The Battle of Britain was a race to get pilots into the air at all costs. <laughs> 